Thanks, Blanca. Why don't we uh, just get it started off here and uh, tell us about yourself. Well, hi, my name is Blanca Rojas and I'm a student at Cal State Fullerton. My concentration is in entrepreneurship. I've actually been in school for a decent amount of time and have a couple of uh, degrees under my belt. But um, the most, I guess the most intriguing part for school was actually joining the entrepreneurship program. Great. Uh, and so what are these entre entrepreneurship classes like? So I would say that they're definitely difficult. Um, it is something that you really have to set a lot of time aside for, not necessarily for the work, but for the research. Um, I think people underestimate how much research has to go into these classes. I would say um, the consulting classes are definitely something that I have never experienced. Um, it's like any other classes I've ever taken. And the reason I say that is you have to actually talk to real life clients with real life problems. So I would say the, these classes are ones that really challenge you to critically think about solutions and problems in a way that you probably never have, unless you've entered the same kind of work sphere before. That's great. And, and how would you say uh, Cal State Fullerton is helping you in your career? The biggest thing I'd say that Cal State Fullerton is helping me in my career is the mentors. I think that I've gained the most knowledge and experience through the mentors and through the relationships. I actually have made some of the closest relationships I think I've ever had in school through these programs because you're really going into, you know, you're going to war together almost in these classes and you really have to have each other's back. But I would say that especially the mentorship program, because it gives you the opportunity to talk to um, business, you know, business professionals who have been in the field for a long time and learning their real life experience and perspective in a safe space. So that was something that I think really is going to help me in my career. It made me more comfortable um, communicating, you know, it made me more comfortable reaching out when I didn't get an answer, you know, that whole, um, that whole, if you don't get an answer, you have to continuously reach out. And it did make me more comfortable in that and not feeling, um, you know, like I didn't have the knowledge to be, like, I feel like in the consulting courses and the entrepreneurship program, it's very intimidating because a lot of people feel like, what do I have to contribute to these other businesses that they might not already know? And we actually have a lot to contribute. All of our personal experiences and education um, have been able to give us the stepping stones to be able to heavily contribute to these businesses and give a different perspective. And that's something I'm definitely going to carry out in my career. And like I said, the friendships and the mentorships um, have been huge for me and I think are going to give me a really good opportunity to carry through any future projects or career I have. So, I mean, you talked a little bit about uh, some of your experience with them. Is there uh, one important lesson that you think you've gained from uh, these classes? Oof, there's a lot of important lessons I've gained from these classes. Yeah. I would say because I've already, I'd already been in like the professional workforce. I thought that it, one of the most important things that came from these classes was it really does give an accurate depiction of what you're getting into. I feel like a lot of the other business courses and when I talk to other, you know, concentrations, um, other majors, they always told me how they never had the same experience that I'm currently going through with these classes. And so I would say the most important thing is it really does give an accurate depiction of what you're getting into. Um, you're not going to have that shock where you really are expecting a perfect professional work setting all the time. In reality, you're going to have, you know, you're going to have individuals who might either be difficult to work with, or you have to communicate a lot more. You have to work towards a similar goal, but it's not as easy as I feel like people make it out to be. And I feel like these classes really help with that because it makes you work through the difficult times together. Um, and so I honestly, I always say, I think that every business major should take at least one consulting class. And I think that it would give them a really good perspective of what is out there in the real world, as well as some of the issues that might come up 
um, in the future for them. You know, it, it's not going to be this huge shock when they get into the workforce and they expect, you know, a perfect setting. It's actually not like that. And I think that these give a good depiction and it helps you really have to come into your own and say, okay, how would I handle these issues? Yeah, I feel the same way. It's, it's interesting uh, to really apply that type of learning. It helps you grow so much more because you're, you're there working with the client. You feel sort of a pressure as well to uh, achieve a lot of things. And I think really the group work is, is the most motivating part when you come at the end of class and you have a, you know, 50, 200 page report that you provide to the client and present. It's, it's a lot. You learn, you learn so much. You're like, how did I, how did I even get here? How did I yeah. write this and do all this? Like, I, I actually surprise myself all the time. I'm like, I did this? Wait, I learned how to do this? Definitely, definitely. If you had to give some advice to maybe, a, you know, a student who's thinking about coming to Cal State Fullerton and studying business, or, you know, he's about to start taking his first upper division courses, uh, what kind of advice would you give them? I would say, if I had any advice to give, I would say, do the work. I, I feel like that's such a cliche thing to say, or it's it seems so easy, but I definitely rolled through a lot of my business course and I just wanted to get done. I wanted to be over with it. But when I got into the concentration classes, I was getting so much out of it where it's clear that the professor isn't necessarily there. You know, it it's there for you. Um, you know, you can choose to take what you want from it, but it's there for you. And I would I would tell them, look into, definitely look into entrepreneurship. It's not just about starting your own business. And I feel like that's the misconception that people have when they hear of an entrepreneurship concentration. It's about learning all aspects of a business and how the wheels turn and looking at how to solve problems. I mean, just because you have, you know, this concentration under your belt, this degree, it doesn't mean you necessarily want to start a business. A lot of people do, but I think it gives you a well-rounded perspective of how a business works and honestly, how to, how to brand yourself, how to personally put yourself out there in the world, because it does present a lot of opportunities for you to really put yourself out there. You have, you can't get through these courses without talking. You have to really learn to put yourself out there and communicate. And I feel like those are things that everyone can benefit from. And I would tell them, you know, really, really consider these type of courses because it's going to help you in the long run, no matter what. This is probably the most interactive type of business classes that I've ever taken. And I feel like everyone could benefit from it. And I would tell them, you know, do the work actually go in, go into the every client meeting, go into every single presentation like it was a final presentation, like this was for your job. Because honestly, at the end of the day, it really does help you. Like I, you know, doing fast pitch, I really thought, well, you know, what, what could I really provide? Or what, am I really going to win or do well in this just because I have an idea and I was so passionate about my, my idea it came through and I was able to really come up with now a business plan and eventually you know now I can work with the incubator or that business idea so I would tell them there's just so much opportunity in this program that I don't think I've seen anywhere else yeah, that's great. Couldn't have said it better. Tell us a little bit about that fast pitch competition. Yeah, you took second place, right? <laughs> I did. I did. I got nice. second place. Um, it was it was really interesting. I think one of the reasons I fully decided to do it this year was because it was a video submission. Um, you know, I have no problem public speaking, but honestly, I never really in the previous years I always heard about fast pitch, and I'm like, ah, eh, like I'm sure there's people coming in with ideas on how to save the world. And I just, I don't have one of those, um, at least not one I could come up with an actual, you know, whole business idea. And I really came in thinking, well, let me just do it. I honestly just wanted to, I guess, really craft my pitch. 
um, with my business idea, it was something I am working in JJ's class and building a whole business plan around. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to go for it and see how it goes. Regardless, I think the feedback I get back, I really didn't think that I would place. I thought that I would just be able to get feedback back. And honestly, once I was done filming, I thought, wow, I will never forget my pitch ever again for this business. I had to memorize it because it was a one take kind of thing. There was no editing. And so you really had to know what you were talking about. And it actually helped me later going through my business plan and my executive summary and go through the holes and figure out, okay, this, this works, this does it. And then when I found out I had placed, the questions that were asked by the panel were things that I was so nervous about that. I mean, I really thought that, you know, what, what if I freeze, what if I don't know, because my business is so conceptual right now, it's not an actual tangible thing. And what if they asked me about this, this, and this, and honestly, I came and I felt so comfortable. I really knew everything that they could have possibly asked me because I've done so much research and so much work. Me and my mentor, uh, my mentor, Sue Mehta, she is incredible. And she has worked with me weekly and gone through our business plan, gone through all of the possible holes. JJ has challenged me on this business plan multiple times and this idea. So I really felt like with the actual pitch contest, it made me it made me feel better about my idea because I was able to answer all the questions with certainty and research and data. So um, it was a really cool experience and it being virtual was not as scary than if I think it would have been in person. And I think that if this happens again next year and they have to do it virtually, I know that they talked about, you know, what, what are the options if, if they do it virtually, I really would suggest everyone just go out and do it and just take that step. I think if you don't do it, you never know if you can win or not. You really don't know if you have the potential to do it. If you don't actually just go out and do it and just submit it. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that scary. And I really thought, look, if they reject me, I'll never even know. I just won't get an email. It's not that big of a deal. But it ended up being a really cool experience that I learned a lot about myself. And I think if I would have done the same thing a year ago, it would have been a lot scarier. Well, that's great. I'm glad you had a good experience with that. But uh, we'll go ahead and close it off here. Thank you so much, Blanca. Uh, Thank you, Alex. You. Thank you. Right. Have a great day.